Alright, let's pick it up here. Um, we've been wandering around this road for a while until the new moon starts. So, this is what happens during the new moon. Uh, what just happened? First there was this car. I'm trying to fig- uh, at the time I was trying to figure out who this demon is. This, um... Abura Gumara. I thought it was behind the car, in front of the car, but then I realized it was the car. And now I'm thinking to myself, what the hell? Fortunately, it's weak to ice. Somewhat. Ow. So, Jack Frost would come in handy. I'm gonna stick with heavy bullets. Yeah, I hate it when the demon- when your demon friend gets sarcastic. Uh, when you do an action that doesn't do any- doesn't do anything. But fortunately, this thing is going down pretty fast because of the whole ice weakness. Seriously, this is a demon? It's like Satan's buggy. And it's like crappy looking. Um, you were before, so it doesn't make much of a difference. Okay, he... Come on, you're a maniacal car, you could take any turn you want. Alright, we got a rickshaw knob, so that's our, uh, first major piece of evidence. But uh, for now, all we've gotten was pictures of certain people, plus diaries, etc. So, what are we gonna do? First off, uh, the cat suggested find somebody who knows uh, about the rickshaw equipment. So, my first guess was head over to uh, the antique dealer in, uh, that we know. However, uh, because he collects random junk, and he also got us a lockpick for some weird reason. Trying to be careful with uh, Jack Frost around these power jacks. Th that's why I'm going in front of them and taking their fire attacks. Either way, he should be grateful. Okay. Another uh, option is the guy who actually works with rickshaws, the one we saved from Dark Fukugawa Cho. Uh, the guy that was in prison. Since he works with rickshaws, he should know exactly what we're, what this is. So... Here's my choice of actions. First things first, I'll just go to, uh... Go to the antique shop and see if he knows anything about it. I also... Because this was a blind run, and in detective work, usually you have to ask so many people, and hopefully they'll give you certain, uh, the right answer that you need. And in this case, I was just asking the main people that I would know. Well, that's the price you have to pay to have uh, some guy who, haven't, who hasn't seen the light of day living in your basement. 
Okay, let's talk with uh, Victor and see if he knows. I'm sure he doesn't because he's been living in this basement for ages. Or for some period of time that we don't know. I couldn't in theory fuse something, but I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna try and go with my instincts and look everywhere. This will actually take quite a bit of time. So the next option is Fukugawa Cho and go to uh, uh, Dimpanchi's house. Let's just head this way. I haven't gone to the Amazing Science Lab yet. Maybe I should just head over there, just to see what's there. Okay. Alright, what did you find? Not bad. I always use those, uh, first. Unless, of course, I'm at very low health. Okay, so here's his rickshaw. And his house is actually next to it. I'm guessing this is the slums of 1920s Tokyo. And from the looks of it, he's not home. Alright. It's a nice choice of actions that I did there, because these can't use ice, so I don't want to have him waste magic. And even so, uh, he also absorbs ice attacks. So he can actually go towards the Azumis and not uh, take a hit. Okay... Another, another lead that I tried to look for was uh, Murumi. So what I decided to do was, uh, off camera, uh, after this video finished, I headed over to uh, Narumi's detective agency and just uh, asked him about it. It's kind of hard, uh, trying to figure out exactly, uh, what I'm looking for. Alright, now that he's done, he's gone. Alright, let's wrap this up here.